Hi guys, my name is Cassandra. I'm an inbound strategist here at Blue Leads. Um, today I will be showing you how to use the social publishing tool within HubSpot. Um, it's pretty easy once you know how to do it. Um, so right now we are on the marketing dashboard. So from here, you'll go up to social at the top, click that drop down and hit on publishing. And so you'll see some tips will pop up. Um, you can either read through the tips or kind of cancel those out. Uh, and to start, the easiest way to go about this would be to have where you're going to be grabbing your content open in another tab. So for this instance, I will be going to the Blue Leads blog and selecting a blog there because that's what I will want to be sharing as my social message. I can then grab this URL and copy that link. So now I have it. Once I'm back into HubSpot, I will click on compose a message and select the social network that I want to post it on. So here I'll do Twitter. Again, some tips or you can skip and you can simply paste the URL right into that box there. Now, HubSpot will auto-populate the image based on the featured image of the post, grab some of the text down here from the meta description, um, but you are also able to customize what your message is. So if you come back over to here, maybe you want to share this very first sentence. Again, you can copy and paste that, replace the content here. We're on Twitter, so we can add some hashtags, to some of these specific words that we will want to use in our post. From here, your post is good to go. Now it's time to actually schedule it. You'll see the campaign was also auto-populated down here. Uh, we're within our character limit, so we are all good to go. You can change the image if you wanted to choose a different one than the one that is the featured image there. But once all is said and done here, you will come up to when you want to publish. So here you can either publish now, uh, which is pretty straightforward, but the better um, kind of way to go about this is to schedule some ahead of time so that they'll auto publish over the next week or however long you schedule them out. So from here, you can choose the day and set a custom publish time. Now, the best time to post your content will kind of depend on your industry. So do a little bit of industry research, what will work best for you, whether your audience is reading on the weekends or maybe more at night versus the morning. Um, that will kind of all depend on your specific audience and the kind of content that they're looking at. So in our case, in the marketing world, we'll want to post our first message in the morning um, so I can choose the date for tomorrow, um, choose a time from the drop down here. Um, so I'll do 10:15 a.m. Give everyone a chance to check their email in the morning and then hop over to Twitter. And so I can click OK there and schedule this message to go out. Now that is scheduled and ready to go. So if I go over to this social scheduled on the left hand side, you'll see that this is the only post that I currently have scheduled. Now I can do the same exact thing for each of these other platforms as well. If I come over here, take the URL and publish here, this will go to Facebook. Facebook will allow a little bit of a longer message. So maybe in this case, instead of just taking the first sentence, I can take a little bit more, uh, tweak it to make it a little more interesting. And again, depending on my research and the time, best time to post when my audience is on Facebook the most, uh, maybe I'll do this one at night because they're looking at the end of the day and they're just kind of scrolling through with some time to actually read through. So again, I can schedule that message here. So as you can see, now I have two scheduled posts, one for Facebook, one for Twitter. So it's pretty easy to schedule these social media posts out across your different platforms. Whether you do it one to two weeks out, they will be ready to go for the time that you had chose for each of those. Uh, if you wanted to do a little bit more with social media, you could always hop over to the monitoring 
reports and settings tabs of the social media tool as well. That's about it for the social publishing tool within HubSpot. I hope you guys found this super helpful. Um, check out our Blue Leads blog for more updates on how to master HubSpot.